Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. Good morning, just about 847 WSAR 1480 95.9. Good to have you along. It is Monday, and uh, that's uh, usually a time when we spend some uh, moments uh, with Laura. But uh, this morning, uh, Kate O'Hara is going to be joining us. Kate, good morning. Good morning. I'm so glad to be here. Thanks well, for having me. Well, it's great to have you along. I'm uh, scrolling uh, uh, on to my iPhone here trying to find the info on this interview. And guess what? It just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have to kind of wing this a little bit. I know you've got something to do with student services in all of that. So give us your, your title, if you don't mind. I know you're, uh, are you an assistant uh, vice president or an, a vice president? Let me have the official title. I am the Vice President for Student Services and Enrollment Management, and I just started in that role last week, actually. Wow, no kidding. Brand new. Good for you. So was, yeah. this, was this a new position created for you, or is this something you, that, that has been going on for a while at, at Bristol Community College? It's not a new position, but I actually, I started at Bristol a little bit over a year ago, back in January of 2020, and I was the dean of the Attleboro campus, actually, ah, okay. and over the last few months, I've been able to help. We have been without a vice president, so I've been serving with some of my colleagues overseeing the areas of student services and enrollment management since last summer, and so now I'm officially moving into the position. Uh, and just so excited about it and really what it entails. I'm well, very excited about the role. That is great. So tell me what you, what, what happens with your role? What I mean, what, do, uh, obviously a, a major help, I think, for students, if I'm hearing it right. Absolutely. You know, I really think about it as kind of four key areas that I'm responsible for. And the first is really helping people understand the value of a college degree. And then it's about making that enrollment process as easy and straightforward as possible for students and their families. And then while students are enrolled, it's giving them all the support they need for all their unique and individual needs as a student while they're in pursuing their education. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, it's really just making sure they meet their goals and they're able to either transfer to a four-year school or earn a better wage or get a new job. Whatever it is that they came to seek out with us, my job is to help make sure that they get it. Wow. So there's lots going on there. And one of the key, uh, one of those key issues has to be the transfer from a two year to a four year. And I guess making the right decision too. But boy, that is just a, such a great, uh, such a great bonus and such a, it's one of the great, uh, one of the great things that happens at a community college and particularly Bristol Community College. Absolutely. And you know, I think right now people are probably trying to decide whether or not it's the right time to come to school and what their plans are. And as we really kind of look to the, the future, what, what it holds for them. And so right now, you know, I just encourage people if they're considering coming to college or maybe they took some time away during the pandemic, you know, now's the time to think about coming back to school and really pursuing your dreams and thinking about what college can do for you. And, and Bristol's a really great choice for students that are considering that right now. We've got affordable tuition and fees. We've got plenty of flexible options, including four different locations and fully online programs. And as you mentioned, you know, the ability to transfer to a four-year school, if that's something students are looking to do, we have lots of options for that as well. And lots of great support services along the way for our students. Yeah, and that that's for sure. And of course, the one of the key issues there is uh, saving money when you you know when you go to a community college and then on to uh, uh, down to complete the four years, uh, saving yourself lots of money. And that's certainly a, that certainly is a, is a wonderful opportunity. And I I've always said uh, for Bristol Community College, one of their great assets has been it's a kind of a it's kind of a second chance to get back on track and and do what you need to do. It really is. And, you know, we have such a wonderfully diverse student body at Bristol. Everybody brings their own set of experiences, which makes it such a great place to study and learn. And we've got staff on hand that can help students no matter what they're looking to do or what experiences they're bringing with them. We've got dedicated admissions counselors that really serve as the person to help guide students through the enrollment process. 
students are assigned a dedicated academic advisor, and that person really makes sure that they stay on track to graduation and do what they need to do, connect with resources. We've got plenty of opportunities for students to feel engaged and connected. And I think we're all looking for a little bit of that right now after the last year and a half. And so we've got programs, we've got Women's Center and the Multicultural Center. Our Student and Family Engagement Office is constantly finding ways for students to feel connected with their peers. And then this summer, I'm really excited. We're going to be launching our first ever Student Success Center, which is a dedicated team for students that have taken some time off and are looking to return. These coaches are going to be there to really help students figure out how to get back on track. So it's a great resource for our students. So you got lots going on, boy, and, and of course, lots of flexibility, too. So it's really, this is a, a wonderful opportunity. And, it, and I think it's important, too, for all of us in the community and in society in general that kids uh, need to consider getting back and returning to, uh, to Bristol or, or to a community college uh, uh, just to, to get back on, on track because you, you do need more than just a high school diploma. You do. You know, the research really does show that people that have that college degree do have the opportunity to earn a better wage, and it really can be life-changing for our students. And so we encourage students to just contact us. We can talk about what it looks like for you, how many courses you might want to take, the mix of online or hybrid courses, certainly looking to return to being on campus and in the classroom as things open back up. And then the best part as well is we've got this dedicated financial aid team that's there to really help students figure out how to pay for it and what that can look like for students and their families. Now, Kate, you also have some ways where you, you, that you can maybe help families Help you help them understand how to how to pay for college. Get them uh, get them the resources and and the info they need. Absolutely, and again, I think so many times people worry the most about how to pay for it. They think about coming back and get excited, and then say, "How am I going to make this work?" And our team of counselors is there to really sit down with students and families and break that down. Sometimes it can get so technical when people think about the process, but our counselors can really put this into easy to understand language and find opportunities for students to make it affordable. A lot of times people think about financial aid as loans and debt, but it's so much more than that. We have grants and scholarships which are things that don't need to be paid back. They're just sort of available for students to take to help make college more affordable. And then not to mention our tuition and fees is already affordable to begin with. So we can really make this a reality for our students and their families. Excellent. Vice President of Student Services and Enrollment Management, Kate O'Hara. Good luck in your new role at Bristol Community College. Good to have you close by. And uh, and we remind folks uh, that, and, and parents or grandparents who might be listening in, a good way, I guess, is just go to the website, I guess, if you need more info, right? Absolutely. That's the best place to go. All right. You have a, you have a wonderful uh, wonderful week, uh, Kate, and nice talking with you. I'm sure we'll do this again. We'll remind everybody that Laura, Laura Douglas back in July for our monthly visit. In the meantime, you have a great week, uh, Kate, and thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Take care. Take care. Thank you so much. All right.